Hello. Hello. We are. We're doing multi things here today, so. Um, oh, it could all go horribly wrong. It could all go horribly wrong. We are actually uh, at Sibley Back Lake in Cornwall, uh, just outside of Lisgard, and we are actually reviewing some solar panels. Um, so if you can hear things cutting in and out, that's the uh, Bluetti um, charging or not charging as the sun goes in and out. Well, we're waiting for a sunny day, right? We are we? waiting for a sunny day. So it's, it's sunny, but the cloud has just decided it's going to come in in bucket loads. So, um, well, it's given it, well, it's, it is November. How easy can it be to review unless we get <laughs> somewhere? Uh, uh, Winnie. Unless we, you know, throw a ball. Hey. Anyway, we thought we'd have a little chat. Um, Not over coffee and cake. Over coffee and cake. So, you would already have seen this if you'd have, if you've watched the um, uh -uh, know. if you've watched the review of the solar panels for the Blue Etty. Which one? We, which one is, is your fancy? This one's mine, and that one's yours. Oh, excellent! So you've got what have you got? I've got um, almond and coconut. Brilliant. And I've got. You've got carrot and pecan and orange and something else. Cake. This, yeah, this seems quite exotic, the cakes in there. Yeah, I love it. So I've got my fingers crossed that the camera doesn't fall over because the wind's just picked up. And you're having, what are you going to save, the cake or the camera? Oh, cake. All right, there we go. So, <sighs> happy November. It is November, isn't it? Yes, it's happy November. Happy November. Oh yeah, I did, yeah. So what's on? So. We. Uh, uh, Winnie, Winnie, Winnie. Winnie is. Um, Stop are you? Are you going to? Not for a minute. Okay. So. Um, yeah. So what's on basically is we had a little chat the other day, didn't we? Started to talk about um, mental health. And... Are you going to eat that while you're filming? Yeah, of course I am. Okay. Um, we had a little chat about mental health and how things have been for you because they haven't been great, have they? No, it's still not great, really. No. I still struggle every day. Yeah. So, do you want to sort of, without going into too much detail, but just sort of tell everyone what's, hap what's happened and what's going on? And well, it's just weird. So one minute you're, you're fighting against the current, I try and get everything done, and you're managing. You are managing, and and you think you're managing, and then one day, just one little tiny thing. Falls off, the wheel falls off, and um, once the wheel has fallen off, it's really, really hard to get back on. Um, you need some time, and um, I got signed off for two weeks. It isn't long enough. Um, I know it's all cliches, you know. You say you have good days and bad days, and um, some days you can be productive, other days you really can't do anything, you're immobilised. Um, you cry a lot, um, I, I don't know if that's a, a safety mechanism of the human body. Um, yeah, I think it is. I think because we all need a release, don't we? Yeah, you get very um, obsessed about some things, other things you can't bear to think about. The bit, um, whilst you're at your lowest, you feel very trapped. You cannot see a way out. Um, and for anybody else that, you know, is feeling a bit healthier, they can see all these options. But when you're, when you're in the middle of this chaotic mind frame, you can't. You can't see any, any way of stopping how you're feeling. Um, yeah, I wanted to just, some days, just get in the car and, and just drive until I ran out of petrol. I didn't know where I wanted to go. I thought I'll disappear, just book into a hotel and lay low and read books and, you know. Um, and then for me, the hardest bit has been the sense of failure. I, I can't, even now, I can't get over To cry. I know you've got something. I can't get over the sense oh. of failure. Oh, yeah. 
In the car, right? But, but you're not felt. Well, it's one of those, isn't it? It's how you feel inside, so... Um, you haven't felt. You've definitely not felt. So, the world, you know, is hard. The pandemic's been hard for lots and lots of people, and... Um, We've all tried to just carry on, regardless, because that's what we do. But um, what you don't realise is it takes its toll um, if you don't listen to what's going on. And, um, I'm talking, you know, metaphorically to your body. And I don't know, I just had a breakdown one Friday morning, didn't I? Yeah. Just got up normal, started work. Um, made a mistake, but it was just a tiny little change of address mistake, and um, and my world came crashing down. So um, you have to take some kind of action. It's like anything that is affecting you. It, you know, if you had an infection, you'd put cream on it. If you had a headache, you'd take a tablet. Um, and, and this, you know, you, you need to listen to yourself and to other people. It's difficult because to talk to people you're close to, you don't listen to them. Well, the problem is I am a, a very efficient person and um, even if somebody had offered me help, I don't think I would have taken it. I, I mean, you know, mm. help with things that I was stressed about. Yeah. Well, but that is you. So, um, change of lifestyle. Take things a bit easier. Um, you, as much as I uh, hate to admit it, I'm getting to be of a certain age. And can't do all the things I did when I was 25. Well, you know, five years ago. <laughs> Um, so it, it is difficult to talk about, it's, as I say, get a sense of failure, a sense that everybody else has managed, so why, why haven't I? Nobody else has cracked up except me. Well, you don't know that. No, well, it's funny enough, my neighbour came in to speak to, just for a coffee a few weeks ago, and I found out exactly the same thing had happened to her, and um, she gave me some advice, which I took. And it does help to know that you're not the only one. Not that I want anybody else to feel like this, but um, it's weird. <laughs> you can't sleep. You, there's a physical tightening in the sort of in, in your throat. Yeah, your chest gets tight. You can't breathe. I, I mean, if somebody else had been telling me this about them, I wouldn't have had any any idea what they were talking. About. To me. This just goes to prove we all have mental health. You know, if you say to people who's got mental health, I have, but we all have mental health, whether it be good or bad. Um, it's part, it's what makes us. But when your mental health is bad, don't be afraid of asking for help, don't be afraid to reach out to others. I know this, this is a very, um, I think touchy subject is a word, is it? It's people go and shy away from this. Uh, and I can't lie to you, with the job that I do, I found this one of the most difficult, this is one of the most difficult things I, I have to deal with at work. Because if, if you break your arm, I can I can give you drugs that stop the pain. Um, if you're having a heart attack, I can give you drugs that start to make things better. If you're not breathing, I can breathe for you. If your heart isn't beating, I can give you drugs to get it beating. But your mental health is just... It's complex, isn't it? It's complex. It's very complex. It's, it's complex. complex. Don't be afraid to reach out to people and say I need help um, I've been there 
I've been there. I won't bore you with the reasons why, but I, I have been there. And I've seen Lisa slowly destroy herself over the past year. But let's kind of end this little daily vlog with a little bit of positivity and say that things are going to turn a corner. Well, I, I have made a massive decision today. Um, the career has to come second. Um, worked really hard to get where I where I am, but um, I need a break. I need a break from it. So um, yeah, I'm I'm going to be doing well. I'm going to look for something else to do. Yeah. Because I can't I can't do nothing. Um, and I'll probably put all my heart and soul into that because that's just the way I am. But I don't want to be sat. Nice. I don't. It's, I don't want to be sat in front of a computer. I want to get out and talk to people and have a more um, human interaction type job. Oh. So um, I just think it's what I need. I, yeah. I need, you know. Human contact's important. Yeah, I really do need human contact. Human contact and is I, really important. I think there are hundreds of thousands of other people out there, um, especially after this last 18 months, that, that feel the same. Yeah. Um, regardless of age or background um, or you know um, whether you're poor or rich or it really doesn't matter we have learned in this sort of technology era and internet and iPhones and um, other yeah. phones are available um, <laughs> but we have learned a, a zoom meeting doesn't do it it, it, it's, it's not the same. Um, I think they were a stopgap, and everybody thought, well, this is great, we can still get to see people. But um, we have learned that humans need contact mm. um, and, and regular contact, regardless, even if it's just going down the corner shop and speaking to, you know, the person behind the till, there's that familiarity of knowing that person. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if I'm waffling on that. No, you're not, but good on you. So, so we, we, I think we, we felt that we needed to do this because people who know Lisa um, have commented privately to us that they've seen that she's not herself. So we sort of just needed to, to do this. Um, normal, normal daily vlogging and other vlogging will be resumed, but, um, yeah, don't be afraid to reach out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some numbers of organisations <laughs> in the comments that if things are not too good, then, you know, there is people to talk to. Your GP. Your well, GP's my doctor, my doctor has been amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, I thought she'd be judgmental. I thought she'd be patronising. Mm. Are you shaking? Uh, um, and she... Uh, really has a good understanding of grasp. Uh, um, I, can't, I can't praise her enough. She's made this experience much easier for me to deal with. So, uh, you know, hasn't been easy, but, um, yeah. Uh, and I felt in a busy world, she had time to listen to me. Yeah. And that's all you need. You somebody do. To it's stop being busy and to listen to you. We've had the dog. Oh my god, I can this dog is my as you can see, um I love Winnie. Um yeah, she she brings me a lot of comfort. And she does get you out, you have to go for a walk and um when you really, really don't feel like it, you're quite paralysed, um, to get out and just put one foot in front of the other. Um, it does lift your mood and um, you do feel able when you come back to do things yeah. that if you were sat at home that paralysis just gets bigger and bigger it's, um, yeah, it's a difficult one I'm good on you sorry I'm going to do this with my nose I hope you don't mind, thank you <laughs> <laughs> so, right. yeah I'll try, you know parts of me are coming back I, I've been a bit yes, I can come. Yes, I can. Yeah. I can.
confirm that parts of her are definitely <laughs> coming back. Yeah, the oh yeah, this needs to be hoovered. This needs to be cleaned. So, uh, right. Thank you for listening to our 15 minutes of waffle. And normal daily vlogs will be resumed. Not from tomorrow, because I've actually got to go and do some work. I've had nearly two weeks off. Can you believe this? Yeah, because you've been with me. Yeah. So. It's my uh, first day at home on my own tomorrow. Yeah, you should be fine. Yeah, I'll be, should I'll be, I'll be fine. fine. Right. Thanks very much for watching. All right. We'll be back in the next one. Bye. Bye for now.